Yeah, you better run! <sighs> Roommates, right? Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Billy Geltzile, you probably know that by now, and I got a new one for you. And a disclaimer, based on the subject matter of this song, I am writing it for extra credit for a class of mine, so I'm not a nerd. Okay? Alright, I dedicate this one to Professor Johnson and our TA Megan. Okay, let's do it! One, two, three, four! Is your mind sharp? Are your abilities ample? Do you know the unit of your unit sample? What kind of variables are in this example? You better know. Is your data group? Does the dispersion change? You know your distribution and you know your range. Do you know if these results are normal or strange? Cause here we go. You get your population and standard deviation. Find the link between the mode and the mean. Know your frequencies, get them down pat. And these are the principles that I learned in stats. With an infinite sample for an infinite solution, you need to use a probability distribution. For mapping hypotheticals, there's no substitution. Listen to me. Is it binomial? Is it continuous? You know the steps in testing your hypothesis. What's your alpha? Will the null be dismissed? Wait and see. We'll take a minor detour and find your z-score. Do a flip-flop if the error's on top. Find your confidence in a tip your b-hat. These are the principles that I learned in stats Statistics is a versatile tool because it has applications even outside school It's useful for surveys and graphs and charts of criminology, psychology, and even the arts Apply these principles and use them all But before you can run, you have to learn to crawl Relationships, are you used to it? Or do you test for independence or the goodness of it? Multiple variables, I can admit, can be a bit tough. Just order your data till the flow is flawless. Find degrees of freedom like William Wallace. Without the sum of squares, you'll be shockless and allless. You can't get enough. Yeah! We'll square your chi, we'll find gamma and phi. We'll watch Seinfeld to see your Kramer's feed Is the proportion of this match the proportion of that? These are the principles I learned in stat Oh, what's your mean? Is it within or between? Call me on over when you get your ANOVA Then you and I will have a little chat So get your calculator and you're up to bat And if you know what level your math skills are at Then you'll be smiling more than the Cheshire Cat Because any kind of problem you now can combat Cause these are the principles that I I've told you the principles that I Now go use the principles that I I give you permission to use that in your math classes, students. Peace!